Brilliant cast, disappointing execution. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel a lifestyle critic I hope you are doing well now in this video we are going to be reviewing No Sudden Move which is a 1950s period mob crime thriller drama movie which has an absolutely outstanding cast attached to this movie the cast honestly are absolutely awesome in this movie unfortunately the actual plot of this movie is really really slow really really confusing and just not that exciting energetic, all that engaging. I mean, it's directed by Steven Soderbergh, who did a really, really good job, and he also had a brilliant ensemble across all of the Oceans movies. However, in this film, he just didn't really do that great of a job as the plot is just really, really weak, and I'm going to be breaking it all down for you in this movie review. So the plot of this movie is relatively straightforward, in the beginning at least which is that a group of small-time criminals are brought in to carry out a seemingly simple task, which is to steal a document from a guy. However, very quickly, things don't appear as clear-cut as they may seem to be. And also, these group of criminals are very quickly questioning who is asking them to do this task and why are they asking them to do this and very quickly want to work out who is the person at the top of the food chain and they go out to try to find this person. Now, from a positive point of view, this movie, like I said before, has an outstanding cast and just spotting all of the top tier talent in this movie is really, really enjoyable. Also, it's got some really interesting twists and turns, constant twists and turns in the latter half of this movie. And there are some shocking moments. You really can't trust anybody in this movie. And also there's mini mob groups in this movie as well. It is a little bit confusing sometimes in terms of working out who is part of which group, but that is quite interesting as well. And also they do reveal literally in the final few seconds of this movie what is really going on however from a negative point of view like i said before this movie is just super slow just isn't that compelling it's also pretty confusing at points as well and also it just feels really empty it's really difficult to connect with the different characters and the plot in this movie which in and of itself isn't really that thrilling however what is interesting in this movie is it really does show that you can't trust anybody as everyone is really turning on everybody else and so from a storyline point of view I don't think it's that great in no sudden move. So the cast and characters in no sudden move really is its strong point as it's got such brilliant cast members in this movie so let's go through them on my one. So first up we have Don Cheadle who is definitely the main character in this movie and incidentally he was also in all three of the Oceans franchise movies by Steven Soderbergh and he does a really good job in terms of leading this movie and the audience really being with this character. Next up we have Benicio Del Toro, who is also on the same level as the Don Cheadle character in terms of being one of the very mini mob groups. Next up we have Kieran Colgan, who is playing a very similar character to all of the other characters, incidentally, that he's played across his acting portfolio. You can literally lift and shift some of the other characters and it is exactly the same kind of portrayal. Next up we have Brendan Fraser, who is the next level up within the mob groups than Benicio Del Toro's character Don Cheadle's character and Kieran Culkin's character as well. It's really nice to see Brendan Fraser in another big movie as obviously he was a massive actor back in the day when he was leading the Mummy franchise. Next up we have John Hamm who is playing the detective in this movie and he is trying to put all of the clues together across this film. Next up we have David Harbour who is soon going to appear in the Black Widow movie and he is the person that originally the three mob characters are targeting to try and find this missing document. His wife is played by Amy Seamat, who was most recently in The Secrets We Keep, and their son, Noah Jupe, was also most recently in The Undoing and The A Quiet Place movies as well. And then there's a really, really cool surprise cameo towards the end of this movie, which is absolutely brilliant. And it's really interesting to see how all of the different characters in this movie are turning on everybody else, which is the only real highlight in No Sudden Move. <laughs> So the visuals in No Sudden Move are actually pretty decent. It does feel very 1950s and you do feel like you've been transported back into that era. All of the death sequences are really realistic and when certain characters turn on each other, it really does put a sudden chill and jolt down your spine. And it's really interesting as well how this movie is focusing on the crime world, which you can really get immersed in, in terms of all of the mob aspects of this movie. But also, it's got some really interesting business aspects and how certain people are going to be turning on each other and what's fueling certain ambitions from a business space 
is really, really interesting. So from a visuals point of view, they are actually pretty decent in terms of sending you back into the 1950s in the mob boss world. So in terms of comparisons, I much prefer other ensemble crime-driven heist aspect-based movies such as the Oceans franchise, Public Enemies, Out of Sight, A Simple Plan, The Untouchables, Snatch, there are so many better other ensemble-based movies which have a really interesting crime narrative, but unfortunately No Sudden Move isn't able to be on the same level as these movies. <laughs> So overall, I was really excited and looking forward to watching No Sudden Move as I really enjoy ensemble-based movies and I was thinking and hoping and expecting that this would be a brilliant film, but unfortunately I was really disappointed by the plot, the execution and the narrative and the only redeeming factor in this movie is the outstanding and brilliant cast members and so for all of those reasons I have to give this movie a 2.5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.